Today I wanted to show how we use our home security system as well as other automated devices. We do have SmartThings as a hub, but we do also um, use quite a bit Action Tiles, which is our interface. Uh, first I'm going to load up Fully Kiosk Browser. That's the preferred browser. Um, and what that does is it takes all the bezels and basically just projects and shows the um, the app only it doesn't show like a header bar or anything else like that um, it's just a nice clean uh, inter like interface for action tiles to show so here is action tiles you see I have a clock widget it's very customizable you can modify and change all sorts of things you can see some of the different sensors we have like the smoke detector carbon monoxide detector it's a z-wave uh, device from first aid I believe uh, front door sensor living room lights, kitchen lights, you can see that those are both on motion sensors detecting uh, motion uh, really nice interface, you can upload images I have it pulling the forecast, as you can see I'm in Arizona uh, specifically the Phoenix area and it's uh, brutally hot as you can see from those numbers um, but overall really happy with the action tiles in terms of being able to modify and tweak settings. Uh, here we are just dimming the lights to about 50% in the living room um, as well as uh, arming and disarming the alarm system so uh, simply come down here uh, armed home so that will arm the system but not turn on the motion you can disarm really simple system uh, and very customizable. I was working earlier on uh, getting my Wisecam video feed to show through. I was having some issues, so I ended up removing it before this video. But super customizable, really simple. Again, Action Tiles, you can use it for like a 14 day trial. Um, I'll put a link in the description to get that, as well as some, some good videos on, on YouTube to show how to set it up and customize it. Um, another cool thing about this fully kiosk browser is you can set it up to where. Um, after some amount of time passes the screen will turn off to conserve battery but then you can have the uh, front facing camera act as a motion device so when someone walks in front of the tablet and they just simply wave their hand or just walk by uh, for that matter uh, the tablet will turn on so uh, again this is just uh, in our bedroom uh, end table uh, next to the bed, but you can definitely uh, put you know these tablets all around. This is an Amazon Fire 7 inch tablet. Paid, I think, 30 bucks for it. Action Tiles, the uh, lifetime license was, I think, around 15 maybe $20, and then the fully kiosk browser was a couple bucks. So, uh, for not a whole lot of money, uh, you can really customize and, and set up uh, you know, a really cool interface for the whole family to use. This is web-based, so you're seeing this on the tablet. I'll go ahead and add a screenshot of what it looks like on my phone as well as what it looks like on a PC. Um, so really you can log in from any type of device and view these details and quickly uh, you know, turn on devices, turn off devices. So I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, but I just turned on the bathroom fan. Uh, it's kind of a weird workaround that we use. My wife is a light sleeper and she likes white noise. So I bought a Z-Wave uh, switch and installed it on the bathroom fan. Um, we actually don't even turn it on and turn it off. We have it set to turn on at bedtime and turn off at nighttime, or at, at, um, at time for waking up. So really simple uh, solution, you know, using smart home technology to kind of automate the way you live. But just wanted to make this video to show, uh, you know, I'll put some descriptions and or some links in the description uh, to where you can download action tiles as well as um, what the browser is I'm using and also some video links to others that have made a really really uh, deep walk through videos on how to set things up I uh, didn't want to make this a long lengthy video just really kind of wanted to show you know what we're using um, as our interface for the kids around the house um, so again what we're planning on doing here is we've removed the uh, the DSC alarm control panels, those were hardwired 
uh, we had one in the master bedroom and then one at the entryway. Uh, we removed those and the plan is to put uh, these tablets in their place so anytime uh, you walk by you can uh, you know control the alarm system or or just the different devices throughout the house. Uh, as you saw on that when that went to sleep I woke it back up by shaking my hand but I need to disable the uh, wallpaper that is a little bit of a tricky thing at least on Amazon tablets but I'll work on doing that next because the ideal scenario would be just to have motion and for it to launch directly into the screen so I'll work on that next but anyways just wanted to give a quick rundown on action tiles the interface um, and tool that we use the majority of the time to control our devices as well as our security system um, as always leave any comments that you have or any feedback or any suggestions um, as well as subscribe thanks have a good one